Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie. And let's get started. For DIY number one, I'm going to begin with one of these metal cone wreath forms from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use some of these faux leather mini pumpkins, also from the Dollar Tree, brand new for fall. I have three in here, but I actually only use two of these small ones. And I'm going to use one of these, it's like a velvet pumpkin, and I'm removing this alligator clip. I don't need it. And I'm just going to use one of those. And then I'm also going to use two of these, they're like a sweater pumpkins on some wood dowels, but I removed the dowels. So I'm just going to place them in this cone wreath form. And here's the green one. I love these colors. And then last but not least, I'm going to use two of these fabric pumpkins, also from the Dollar Tree. And they have the little words that says thankful hanging down on a little two twine and some beads. And I'm just going to stick them in there. They fit in there just fine. And they all stay. It's fantastic. Look how adorable. Now I'm going to go in with some of this eucalyptus. This is also brand new from the Dollar Tree. And I'll just add some of the picks wherever I feel it would look cute. And then I do a burlap bow and one of those leather blessed words. Here's how it looks. And a closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number two, I am taking one of these pumpkin pie, it's like a reverse shadow box made out of MDF chipboard. And I'm going to go ahead and pop it open. And I'm going to remove the sides. So first I started to use my scissors, but mm -mm, no good. <laughs> so now I went to my finger utility knife and that worked much better. Removed all the sides, take my finger sander and remove any pieces of paper or chipboard. Now I'm taking one of these new cutting boards made at MDF as well. This is from the fall collection and this pumpkin piece fits perfectly on that. I don't have to do anything to the cutting board. And now I'm taking some of this burlap trim and I'm going to trim out this piece that's got the pumpkin pie recipe. And I just go ahead and go all the way around with it. Look how adorable. And so now I'm gonna take some jute twine, just wrap it around the handle. And I wrap it around a good, I don't know, four or five times or so, just till it was to my liking. And you can do this however you like. Tie off the back, add a little dab of glue to hold it in place. And the back, that's also a clean slate for something else if you want to do that too, for sure. Now I just turn it back over and now I'm going to do a little bit of embellishing. I'm going to add one of these burlap bows. And on the bottom, I'm going to add some of this pit berry, berry garland, and just wrap it around the bottom. And then I'm taking my lighter and removing all the fuzzies, because you know those fuzzies are not pretty. <laughs> so I just do that real quick. And everything comes off beautifully. Here's how it looks and the closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number three, I am taking four of these new calendars, farmhouse calendars from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to use certain little pieces on the back. Two on this one, one on this one, one on this one, and this one. It didn't have any fall, so I just skipped that one. And so I just went ahead and removed the four pieces. And now I'm going to take four of these they're like three inch pieces of wood and they're from Amazon. I could have used the Dollar Tree planks, but I don't have any more. So until I get more, I can use these Amazon ones. And then I went ahead and did some staining with the antique wax and made some holes with my crocodile. And here I'm taking some burlap pieces and I'm just going to remove some of the fibers on the ends to have it fray a little bit, get everything nice and straight. And then once I get that done, then I'll take my Mod Podge and do a coating of Mod Podge. And you can use any Mod Podge and just do a coating on the piece of wood and place the piece of burlap on top and do another coat of Mod Podge. And I do this for each like this. Now I'm taking my little squares of the Dollar Tree calendars and I'm just going to add some Mod Podge and place them on top of this whole piece on all of them. Now I, I allow them to dry naturally and one of them turned out a little bit wrinkly. This one here you can see the top the rest came out pretty good but easy fix. I'll just add a piece of parchment paper and use my mini easy press and just flatten it out. It works perfectly. Now it, with the Mod Podge on top the parchment paper does stick a little bit 
but just allow it to cool completely i was impatient so here i'm struggling a little bit but just allow it to dry completely and it'll come off easily so here it does come off and nothing came up and look at that perfect no wrinkles so now i'm just going to take some jute twine and a variety of beads that i have and i'm just going to start stringing some of the jute twine on these these squares and i'm just going to do a double knot to secure it in place and then I'll begin stringing some of the beads. So I'll do some orange, some brown, and some natural. And then I had these little pumpkin shaped ones as well. So the pumpkin shaped ones, the hole was so teeny tiny. So I added a little dab of glue to my jute twine, kind of twirled it in my finger, and then it went in just fine. And once I have them all done, then I'm just taking some little bows made out of jute twine. And that is it, super cute banner. And a closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number four, I am taking these little apples made out of wood and I'm taking my drill and carefully drilling a hole on each one of them towards the top. Now, if you don't want to use a drill, you can always remove the little stem that's on there and use that instead. But I wanted the stem to be there. So now I'm just taking some of these bamboo skewers, cutting them down a little bit. And now I'm going to adhere these bamboo skewers on the top of the little apples where I made the holes. So we're going to make some candied apples and caramel apples, yeah. So here I'm taking this little box and I placed a piece of parchment paper on top and now this little container that's kind of short and kind of narrow and some Mod Podge and I used the gloss Mod Podge. And now I'm going to use some of this apple barrel paint in the color territorial beige, mix it up, try to make the perfect caramel so now we're going to take some of these glass beads because I wanted to dip them in there, see how that would look. So here I'm dipping my first little apple in my faux caramel and it works perfectly because the container is rather narrow. So it, look at this, it's so cute, <laughs> adorable. So now what I do is I go ahead and while it's wet, I put it in my glass beads and it worked okay but I wasn't crazy about it. So that's, I think I only do two with this. So now I feel like my caramel looks a little bit too, too pale. So now I'm gonna add some of this chocolate bar paint, mix it up and do the rest, do three more with this color. And I like this color better. It looks a little more toasty and I do three. And then with the rest, I go ahead and mix some red paint from Apple Barrel in the color bright red mix it in my existing mixture and now we're going to make some candied apples with the rest so four caramel apples and four candied apples and only two will have the glass beads because I wasn't crazy how it looked so now here you since I use some of the paint for the other apples I'm having to kind of maneuver this little cup and that way I can get my candied apples nice and completely covered so I'm just using the end of a bamboo skewer to help get that done and it works just fine so once I get that done then I go ahead and place this on my parchment paper and this will help everything come off easily later so now I'm taking one of these wood it's like a triangle thick wood block and I'm going to paint it in the antique wax by Waverly and I'm going to take a piece of this burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree that's got the lace on it and I'm just taking a small piece and I'm going to dovetail the ends just for interest. And what I'm creating is I'm creating a tiny triangle shaped cutting board for my faux apples, my faux candied and caramel apples. And this will be some sort of a doily kind of look. So here I'm adding a thick piece of chew twine back on, nice and chunky with a nice chunky knot to make this rectangular faux cutting board super cute so here it is now here are my little apples look how adorable and they just pop right off this parchment paper like nothing look at this super cute here they all are close a look at the fine reveal for DIY number five I am taking these tiny little wood pieces from the Dollar Tree and then the little the little base that it came with and some of these little squares of wood and these colors of Waverly paint give them all a good paint these little mushrooms leaves 
and we're creating a fall tic-tac-toe board. So I'm just gonna add a little mushroom to some of the squares and some leaves on the other squares. One for X, one for O, and just adhere them with some hot glue to look like this. Now on the back side, I'm going to go ahead and add some of these Scrabble tiles. I found plenty of the X's and plenty of the O's. So I'm just going to adhere these to the back side so that way you have a choice. You could either play with the little icons on the front or you can flip them over and play with the X's and O's, be traditional. And for the center, I went ahead and just got two more of the Scrabble tiles, one X, one O, and I just adhere them together to each other. That way, whoever's the winner, it could be an X or it could be an O. And here's how it looks with the icons, and here's how it looks with the X's and O's. And then closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number six, I am taking one of these little gnomes from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to go in with these four colors to give it a specific look, give it that fall look. Look how adorable. <laughs> And then I went ahead and used this beige for the face and some of this Merlot for the pants. And now I'm going to use some of this fabric from the Dollar Tree with the little gnomes and I'm going to cut off this little square that says, from our gnome to yours. I thought it was adorable. And I'm also going to use this little oval that says, gnome, sweet gnome. How cute. <laughs> so now I went ahead and did a little fussy cut on it and now I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm just going to add some Mod Podge to the little hat. And I'm going to put the little Gnome Sweet Gnome piece up top and give it a nice full coat for protection. And I'm also going to grab a cute little metal bucket, add some Mod Podge, and I'm going to add a little piece that says from our gnome to yours. And now I'm going to take a little bit of this truffle paint from Waverly and I'm just going to do a little bit of dry brushing on both pieces. Now I'm taking a small piece of styrofoam or floor foam, placing it in the bucket, adding some of these new berries from the Dollar Tree, the fall collection. I'm going to snip off and cut them down to where I feel like I it would look cute. And now I'm going to take three different sized little pumpkins and I'm just going to remove the stem on this bigger one, add this medium sized one on top, and then one of these faux leather ones on the very top to make it look like a cute little topiary. And so now I'm going to make space to put this on and I'll embellish with some sunflowers. How adorable. And now I decided to take one of these wood stems from the Dollar Tree. I found the biggest one in the pack and I'm just gonna give him a little stump to stand on so he'll be a little bit more substantial in size. Look how cute. And now I'm gonna take one of these leather pumpkins. It's on a leather ribbon and I'm just going to wrap it around his little body since he's up high. And here's how it looks in the closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number seven, I am taking one of these tobacco baskets. This is from Dollar General. And I'm just going to take one of these welcome fall pieces from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to paint it with this Waverly plaster paint and set it aside. And then I'm taking some more of this plaster chalk paint and I'm going to dry brush this whole piece inside outside front side back side all of it just a nice dry brushing if it comes out thick fine if it comes out thin that's fine too however it comes out that's how it's going to look look how cute and now i'm going to take my welcome fall word and i'm going to go in with the waverly antique wax do the same thing give it a dry brush not be too particular just however it comes out just to give it more interest like this, and then I'm just gonna take some hot glue and adhere it to the basket on the center, like this. And then I'm, I'm going to take this variety of pomegranates and farmhouse wax flowers and some boxwood, and I'm going to make a quick bow out of some burlap ribbon, and I'm just going to tie it in the center. And I doubled this bow so that way I can spread it open and you'll see that in a minute. This one's gonna be a little bit different. Then I'm taking another piece of the burlap ribbon and I'm just going to dovetail both ends and I'll tie this onto my bow. And here's where I open it up. So it's kind of like a double bow, kind of like a butterfly. <laughs> and I'll just tie this with another piece of jute twine, double tie it in the back for security, snip off any excess jute twine, of course. And now I have my bow ready for embellishing, so I'll just set this aside 
and I'll go ahead and add all my florals to the center top of this tobacco basket in this manner and add the bow to the bottom and here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal for DIY number eight I lost my footage my SD card literally failed me but here's the little basket I thrifted this little wire basket I added some faux pumpkins one moss pumpkin some of the faux leather maple leaves and some florals and a bow and a leather thankful word and here's how it looks and the closer look at the final reveal for DIY number nine I'm going to take this mini cutting board from Target and this mini easel with chalkboard from Target and one of these little pie forms from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use these three colors to paint them in this manner my pie is ready to go I'm happy with it and here's a little easel all painted and the back of this cutting board I left the other side alone because I thought it was cute so now I'm going to use two of these chalk tour transfers to do a little project on them just to make them look super cute so I'm going to use some of this surface wax and place it on the tops of or the surfaces of these chalkboards that way I make sure that my transfers don't stick to my paint and now I'm going to use this bright white paint color or paste color chalk paste color and some of this rust and some of the sunny side these are the three colors I'll be using and here are my little squeegees so here I'm removing one of the transfers and I'm going to fuzz it on this cloth a good six times or so because this is brand new and I've, I've never used it so the last thing we want is for this to stick too much onto our surface because it will pull off the paint so now that it's on there I'm going to go in with some of the rust this is a brand new color and I'm just going to add it to my pumpkin word and then I'm going to use some of the white for the kisses then I'll use some of the yellow for the wishes and then I'll go back in with the rest for the harvest and the and and I actually do a little combination of yellow with the orange for that middle portion it's a subtle look but I think it looks really really cute kind of like blend it together and then I remove the transfer and look how cute now for the second one I do the same process go ahead and fuzz it up a good six times and just place it on my little chalkboard easel and I'll do the same thing with the rust for the little pie and then the yellow the sunny side yellow for the words and if you're interested in any chalk tour products or interested to see what it's all about my links are in my description box and all you have to do is go to my link tree and you'll find all my links there and if you could butter bread, you could do chalk couture. And look how adorable these look. They come out so beautiful. And they dry pretty quickly too. Okay, so now I have all my pieces ready. So now it's time for do, doing a little embellishing. And on my cutting board, I'm just going to add a little bit of two twine to the top, to the handle. And I'm going to leave it like this because I can use both sides of this little cutting board for my tear tray. Adorable. Now for the little easel, I'm just going to add a quick little bow on the very top, and that is it. Here's how they look, and a closer look at the final reveal. Here's the little cutting board, here's the easel, chalkboard, and here's my little pie. <laughs> so simple. For DIY number 10, I'm going to create a tear tray. So I'm taking this wood round, it's MDF from the Dollar Tree from the, I think it was from the summer, the garden pieces. And I'm going to remove this chew twine up top and then this handle on the bottom and taking my spatula to remove the rest and taking pliers to remove any pins and taking my finger sander to get it all nice and sanded, nice and smooth. And we're almost ready to paint, but not yet. We'll set this aside and come back to it in a minute. And now I'm going to take one of these bamboo rings. I'm just going to use the smaller one. And now I really want to remove the paper off this round. So I'm taking some paper towels and I'm going to saturate this with some water. Allow that to sit for about 30 minutes. That way it can remove all this paper. And my bamboo ring is ready to go. Here's another sign that I had in my stash. Removing these hooks on the sides and this jute twine. And it has a little ledge on the bottom. So I really like that for a tea tray. I was going to use this candle holder, but I changed my mind. You'll see that in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting with some of this truffle chalk paint by Waverly. 
and now here I'm removing all this paper off this round so I get it all off like this here is my round nice and painted and I'm now I'm taking some of this metal ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to adhere this ribbon onto this bamboo round that's painted with the truffle so I'm going to figure out how much of this I'm going to need snip off the excess with my EMT shears that cuts this like butter and now I'm going to take some E6000 add a nice glob of it place this ribbon on the side and use my craft clips to hold it in place and then just go down and add some more of the E6000 and add some more clips and just go all the way around until I get it all adhered together like this and once I get to the very end where I started from there's still some E6000 there so I just added another clip and that is it now it's just set this there overnight so it'll dry and cure and now I'll do the same thing to this larger round that I painted so here it is and it just allows all this to dry overnight now in the meantime I'm taking the spindle that was actually from an old chair that we found out in the road <laughs> but the spindles are good so hey don't overlook it and I'm just using my drill to create some pilot holes for my screws so I'm going to use the spindle instead of that candle holder and here I'll go in with that same paint now here's the next day everything's nice and dry look at this beautiful both of my rounds are beautiful so now I'm going to adhere this metal ring on this round this MDF round and I'll just use some hot glue for this because hot glue can handle the bamboo ring onto this piece here this round piece so it's not a problem and now I'm just going to use my heat gun to remove any of the glue webs get it nice and pretty and now here is my spindle and I'm just going to flip over my bottom piece my base piece and I'm going to use this round that I like to use for finding center it doesn't have to be a perfect size of the round it just helps you find the center and I just mark it with a marker and now I just add my little screw and here's my drill and I'm just going to put the screw through so like this so here it is other side and now I'm going to twist on there the spindle and using my screwdriver on the other side and I do this to the top round as well and you're thinking this looks a little funny but there's a method to my madness hang on this is definitely very custom so here is my Instagram QR code here is my TikTok QR code I do have a Pinterest here is my handle and here are my pins and I do have a Facebook crafting group if you'd like to come out and check us out and now we're at the final reveal let me know what you guys think
Well, I'd like to come moment and thank all of you for taking some time and watching my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun creating for this video and using all the new Dollar Tree items. So exciting to use these new faux leather items and all these new pieces, the new calendars. I had so much fun. Hope you guys did enjoy the video and my projects. Let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite. And if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you want to see more, definitely subscribe. And until my next video, stay healthy, safe, and strong. And have a great, great day. Bye-bye.